now I have to get all the stuff on me, wetsuit, buffs, the bag, the bucket that we fixed, the bucket that we fixed, the booties, everything. Alrighty then, let's do this. I'm back on the reefs. Let's see what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. There's a couple of guys standing there. Nobody here. Let's see what happens. Alrighty then, guys. Welcome back to my channel, Craig Zep for Fishing and Same. My name is Juan. Man, I can't think how many times I've said that. Anyway, some of you guys don't know me and hopefully you guys will subscribe and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos man this mustache let me just first have a look at this yes sir i need to go to the barber shop anyway the wind is pumping a bit i'm back on the reefs let's see what's gonna happen here something's gonna come out luckily i've got my truck cap but yeah we had some fun along the coastline catching some fish my son actually when you while you guys were busy watching that uh, Siemras video we were busy fishing my son Monet actually caught a beautiful Khalyun Khalyun season is closed guys I didn't target Khalyun I targeted uh, some Siemras so Khalyun season is closed if we do catch a Khalyun we always give it some freedom like I always do but yeah he caught a beautiful Khalyun I caught a small little Khalyun as well and believe it or not I caught a little muscle cracker absolutely crazy with, uh, my, with my bait uh, freshly pumped prawns but I was targeting some big bigger sembras maybe one day I'll get that to 90 centimeters but we need, just need to keep on trying anyway I'm gonna show you guys that footage which is absolutely beautiful I'm not gonna waste that footage or delete that footage I'm gonna show you guys but like I said Khalyun season is closed we didn't target Khalyun and I just want to share this footage with you guys We've got a pretty awesome measuring mat we can use on the beach it's pretty awesome but if the wind blows it's not that good but now we can measure the fish and everything that will be available soon i'll let you guys know on social media yeah now i'm back here on the reefs i needed to repair my bucket as you guys can see it had a it had a couple of knocks couple of knocks here on the reefs so i needed to repair it but i will show you guys you know, if you don't have money laying around, you just fix it up, fix it up. How long is it going to last now? I don't know. I don't know. I've got no idea. But the lease is fixed now. I can fish again on the reefs. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to tie your, uh, tie your braid to your little line. Pretty easy method that I use. Hopefully you guys will find it helpful. Anyway, let me show you guys how we tie the, the braid to the little line. And then we're going to come back.
provided then hopefully you guys will find that helpful guys quick and easy way to tie your braid to your little line and this is how I repaired my little bucket Not that perfectly done, but uh, at, at least it's sealed up. All the cracks are sealed up. But anyway, let me go show. Let me show you guys that beautiful uh, Khalyun, that Monet cord. Check this out, guys. Yeah, you can song come some way. Yeah, the fighter. That's a nice one. Yo. This is a beautiful for you. Yo, man, I must have fight it. Yeah, I don't train. Like, oh, yeah. I, I got this uh, 37. Monib designed us a measuring mat crazy for fishing inside. Absolutely beautiful. Where's the Khalyun? Here's the Khalyun, guys. It needs to be 35 to keep. Uh, back limit is 2 per day. Let's measure him. From the head to the tail. 39, 39 centimeters. Absolutely beautiful, Monet. But Khalyun season is closed. We need to let it go. You want to give it some freedom. That is a beautiful Khalyun. This is Monet's biggest Khalyun ever. 39, 39 centimeters. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> freedom! Freedom, freedom, freedom! Absolutely beautiful! We gave it some freedom. Man, let Halyun just move through that water. You want it to be in the ocean. He wanted to be in the ocean, yes sir. Let me show you that small little muscle cracker that I caught. Muscle cracker also needs to be, th muscle cracker needs to be 60 centimeters to keep. I think, uh, I can't remember now, but I think it was 25, uh, 35 centimeters. Absolutely beautiful muscle cracker. I didn't expect that. I was targeting some siembras. I only, we only caught some Khalyun and some muscle cracker. Let's look at that video. Absolutely beautiful. Muscle 
35 centimeters this little muscle cracker guys absolutely beautiful let's give him some freedom guys give you some freedom There he goes, there he goes. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Alrighty then, hope you guys enjoyed that footage. So I'm here on the reefs. I'm gonna see if I can catch some fish. I've got my car brick. You guys know the car brick. If you don't know the car brick, I will leave it in this I will leave it in the description below, guys. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. But let's see if something's gonna come out here. I've got the exact same method that I showed you guys just now. How to tie your braid to your lead line. That knot is on here now. As you guys can see, and it works. I pulled out that sembras, that big cop, everything with this little knot. Quick and easy way to do a knot. Don't know if there's any fish gonna come out now. Let's hope for the best. So guys, do love the footage, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. I will see you guys when I'm at my spot. Let's see if there's any fish. Yes, sir. Man, I'm so happy when I'm at the ocean. Anyway. Let's go fishing. I'm using chocolate for bait today, guys. So, got my braid, 26 kg braid on, and my little blue surf 9000, the drilling blue surf 9000, drilling cast triple X 12 footer. Let's see if something's gonna happen. If something's gonna happen today. If not, I'm just gonna say cheers. But anyway, if let's see if there's fish. I need to walk in a bit and see. Let's go hunt this fish. Let's go hunt the fish. I'm fishing with Chokka today. I think I just told you the guys that. Thank you so much for all the beautiful, beautiful and positive comments from you guys. Absolutely crazy. Now I know I'm not doing these videos for for nothing. There's a couple of you guys that really enjoyed my videos or do enjoy my videos. I do 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 appreciate it a lot. Let's go fishing. Yeah. couple of guys on the kayaks or guy on his kayak trying to fish as well so my braid is almost finished not good no sir there are a lot of fish out there I just don't know why ain't they biting they should have biting a long time ago I've been here almost one hour and 32 minutes no fish, no fish at all, guys. Well, it seems like we're gonna have to make a move. Make a move and see where the fish are. Yes, sir. Go on, you need to get out of here. There's no fish. Pump some iron. No, Arnold, I want a fish. Hello? Hello? Alrighty then guys, I can get pretty crazy on my own here. If the fish don't bite, I'm starting to talk to myself. There might be something wrong with me. Anyway, I'll see a new spot. I think I'm gonna try it out. Let's see what happens. Let's go. You need to put some more, more iron on the line. If you want to catch a big cabal, yo. Alrighty then, Arnold. Let's look for a new spot. <laughs> Some Ooh, oh, that was close. 
You almost fell down. Almost hurt your muscles. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting crazy. I'm not catching any fish and I've walked a bit. Uh, that's the thing, we need to do some hunting. It's not easy. One hour, one spot, one hour and a half, another spot. And then we move around another two hours. It seems like we've got a lot of time on our hands, but we don't. We need to head back as well. Let me try one last spot. <sighs> Let's see. Beautiful day to have a beautiful day. Let's try this again. Oh, seriously? Crazy little octopus. Check this little octopus guys. <laughs> Just here where I'm standing, here on the reef. Here he goes. <laughs> Who's there? Woo, fish on boys. Boys and girls, you got something on ya. It's a fighter, it's a little fighter. Oh, it's a little cubby. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's just giving some freedom. Needs to be 50 centimeters on your baby. Freedom. 
freedom, freedom. then guys we are finished for the day before I forget yes sir we did cook up that sembras and it was absolutely nice we fried it up actually in the oven some garlic but some garlic butter and everything I told you guys I'm gonna save it for a special day so I took the whole family we got ourselves some periwinkles cook that up with some, some rice and with the sembras and it tasted good check this out guys the sembras is looking good And I bet it's gonna taste good. Ooh, this is looking good. Absolutely beautiful simras, guys. With a little bit of garlic butter. I bet you guys know what this is. Periwinkles. Absolutely beautiful. Oh yes sir, yes sir, finger per wrinkles and stimbras. Alrighty then guys, absolutely beautiful stimbras that we caught, you guys saw that video. Here we got a couple of per wrinkles mixed with rice. Look at this meat, look at this meat, it is absolutely beautiful. Now we need to do a taste test guys, let's do a taste test. See what is happening here. Ooh, this is going to be good. Look at that meat. There's a lot of meat on here, guys. A lot of meat. So here we've got a little bit of fish. And here we've got a little bit of pear wrinkle. Let's mix that up. With the wrinkle here is the bear wrinkle. I think this is going to be going to be a good bite. Mmm. <laughs> bear wrinkle with the right. Absolutely beautiful. Mmm. A little more. A little bit more stimulus. Look at that white stimulus. White meat of the white stimulus. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> mm.